All right. Hello, guys. This is Magical Lady Duchess, and tonight I'm going to do a video on dating a Scorpio. Now, dating a Scorpio, let me first say this. So, my granddaughter is a Scorpio, a Scorpio, and her birthday is November the 11th. 15. Fuck, don't tell her I didn't know her birthday. She you know, her feelings. As a matter of fact, don't mention her birthday at all because she'll ask you every day when is her birthday and how long is it from the day that she just asked every day. As a matter of fact, don't tell her nothing. Don't tell her you taking her nowhere. Do not do that because she will not let you forget it. They're fixed. So anyway, so the Scorpio dates is October the 23rd through November the 22nd. They are, their Scorpio sign is the Scorpion. Their uh, planet sign that are ruled by Mars. Scorpio is a fixed sign, which is why she don't never let you forget some shit you done said you was going to do for her. My granddaughter remember shit that you said you was going to do for her last year. <laughs> um, she is very controlling, very passionate about her being controlling. She is, she can be a bully. Well, let me stop talking about her in particular. Let me just talk about Scorpios, period, period. Very dominant, very controlling, and are they controlled in their controlling and passionate. Just a whole woman. Uh, they're very passionate to negative traits of a Scorpio, overly emotional, kind of like the Pisces, very um, overdramatic like the Leo woman. Uh, they can be angry as fuck and very stubborn like the Taurus. Scorpios are known to be very intense creatures, like period. Their presence holds a lot of weight and a lot of fucking aggression. They are known to be figures of great power and control. Okay. Scorpios, they have the, the ability to deny themselves human contact. They deal with everything in some like methodical fashion or plane. Um, they are very sexual people. Almost overly sexual people. They're probably one of the most sexual of the zodiac besides the whorish gemini <laughs> um let's break down some old traits so let's talk about the woman you know not that i've already been talking about a female that's my granddaughter that is like that uh scorpio is the eighth sign the eighth sign of the zodiac and the eighth house is what the eighth house is all about sex, death, and the cycle of regeneration. What did I say the eighth house is? Sex, death, and the regeneration, the cycle of it. Um, they love spooky and magical things. Female Scorpio women are very natural queens of the underworld. And thus, not usually, they don't shy away from the more intense or heavy characteristics of life. And they are the voodoo hoodoo girls, too. This sign kind of gets a bad rap sometimes uh, for most astrologers. Sometimes they say that they're too much or they're overly dark. What the hell happened? She fell off the couch. My dog fell off the couch. Um, so, anywho, um, Scorpio women can be, not many men can deny her magnetic personality, her mystery. But be careful, because Scorpios can crawl all over your ass in the slightest bit of move, and they will sting you. So be very, very careful with it. She's a sex goddess, though. They're, they're hypersexual. They're, they have very strong libidos. And they are known to be very exceptional lovers. I don't know what else you Oh, thank you. Just a spoon and um, I got some of my little, I'm drinking some lemon water and some organic agave nectar. No big deal. Um, thank you. Um... 
Sexless unions are relationships of convenience will never work for this because they like they don't like one night stands. They want to be in a relationship. Like they really, really want to be in a relationship. And they are very jealous. Very, very jealous. Possessive. Did I say jealous? Did I say possessive? Hell yeah. <laughs> like once she stakes her claim on you, she has a hard time of letting go. You won't easily be relinquishing any type of like, I'm pissed to go. I'm not going to be with you. Not with a Scorpio woman. You know, you fuck around and your tires and shit be sliced and she be sitting up in your living room and you thought you had the door locked. And she's in there saying, hey, you know when I broke up, right? <laughs> a tire says I'm not alone, say that. Damon, I'm not like that. I, have I ever threatened to tear up something? Don't talk about your motorcycle. I'm talking about besides it. <laughs> um, Scorpio women, they like to make their own decisions. Um, they don't like being told what to do. They don't really work well either. If you, um, if they have more than one like boss or something like that, they not real good with it. So. Let me give you some advice about how to date like a Scorpio man since I've been talking about the woman. I'm going to give you like some do's and don'ts. Okay, Scorpios are known to be mysterious, like sexy, kind of feisty. But beyond that point, it can be kind of hard to figure out, like especially when it comes to dating them. And so they're born, like I said, between the 23rd of October to the 21st of November. Um, you know, a famous Scorpio is Leonardo DiCaprio and also Ryan Gosling. And Matthew McConaughey. So, and I don't really think that if you're a Libra, Leo, Gemini, that it's really good to work with a Scorpio. I don't really think that that will work with them. I don't know. So, anyway, Scorpio, Scorpio men, like, don't push him for information. Scorpios have to trust you or men have a hard time trusting you. So while like mystery is kind of part of their charm and leaving shit out and not telling you everything like they still fucking their baby mama or something. I'm not judging. I'm just saying uh, Scorpios can be very secretive sometimes. Very secretive sometimes. Girl. <laughs> Scorpio men can be very secretive. Um, so you shouldn't like force him to open up. But you know you just. He don't really do good with a lot of questions. So, <laughs> trust is big with Scorpio men. Don't rush him into a relationship either. Scorpios like kind of like to control the crews. What do I say? Control the crews. Just like Scorpio men don't like to be in fo forced to share like personal information or whatever. They also don't like to be rushed into anything. Like rushing them. Like they will make so many fucking facial expressions and stuff like that. It probably will make you want to punch them or something. They don't like that. So, whether you're in a relationship or like a Sunday brunch, if you can tell that he's taking a step back, give him some space and he'll come around. Like, don't try to chase them. They don't like that. They will flee. Um, don't make him jealous either. Like, if you're flirting with a cute person or whatever, uh, you be grown to do that. One of the worst things you could do is make a Scorpio jealous. They're very protective people and they care, you know, when they decide that they want to care about you. I mean, because who knows when the fuck that's going to happen, right? Um, but often they, like, have, like, a Hulk-like temper. Like, they will turn up some shit. Now, even though he's secretive as fuck and he don't like to give you any kind of information about him, Scorpio, Scorpio men don't like to be lied to, like, ever. And the women are even fucking worse. Now, we all know that lying is a terrible thing to do in general, but it's really not good to lie to a Scorpio. They are loyal when they choose to be and faithful as they come, but get caught in a lie and you'll definitely feel the wrath. Like, um, if you hurt a Scorpio, period, they do not forgive and forget. They might say that they forgive you, but they're not going to forget it. And every time y'all have an argument, they're going to fucking bring this shit up. So be fucking ready for that. And another thing, too, 
They will tell all of everybody else's business, but they will not tell what the fuck that they do. Again, go back to my granddaughter. She will tell, she is synonymous for telling all of our businesses to each other. But ask her why she was cutting up at school. She'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> um, Scorpios like to be treated like an individual. Like, especially Scorpio men. <laughs> Like, they don't want you to treat them like anybody else. They You got to give them extra attention now and then when they're receptive to it. Particularly when you're in a group. They like, like, they like group shit. Not group, like, sex. I, that's not, because they are hypersexual, but that's not what I was talking about. They like to show. They want, like, if y'all are in front of people, oh, my God, they will be all peaches and cream and hug and kiss and walk with your back. And then in, in private, they probably might be like that. But they like, you know, public affection. Um, they don't like to be told what to do. Don't criticize them ever. Even if you're joking and say just kidding. They don't take a joke very well. Um, when most people can kind of take a joke, Scorpios don't take too kindly to being picked on. Even if it's all in good fun. They don't take a joke. You cannot play with a Scorpio like that. They like what the fuck? Like you can't play with them like that. Like if you're going to make fun of him. Um, don't. Because mm -mm. they petty as fuck. And then be prepared for them to be petty with you. The men and the women in that case. Um. I'm trying to think what else. Don't try to win every fight. Let them win something. Fuck. So they can shut up. Because they're never going to let the shit die down. What'd you say, Damon? Oh. Um, Scorpio men. Let's see. Do be patient with them. Like I said, trust is a big issue. Um, do watch what you do. Even the little things. They're very meticulous and picky. Um, don't hold off on sex. If you mad, don't use sex as a weapon because they love fucking. So think of something else. Scorpios love to fuck. Scorpios love to fuck and talk shit. And you better not say nothing back. And you better not joke with them. And I'm for real. <laughs> um... Do let him express his darker side. That goes for women as well. Um, best matches for the Scorpio men is Cancer, Capricorn, and Pisces. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking of Pisces, emotional. But I'm going to tell you why these, these three work the best. With the Cancer, they will be very soft-spoken, likes to feel protected, willing to please. Right? The Scorpio is all for that. Um, the Capricorn, patient, diligent. Good sexual chemistry with Scorpios. Capricorns have really good sexual energy, period. And I'm not just saying it because I'm fucking one. I'm just saying that it is true. Uh, Pisces are dreamy, dependent, and indecisive, and willing to take a back seat because they're emotional. They like attention, and the Scorpio is like, okay, cool, that'll work. Now, for the worst matches for Scorpios, I'm going to say Libras, Leos, and Geminis. The reason why I say that with those three in particular and why I'm doing this kind of different for the Scorpios, I don't know, but I'm trying to help y'all out. Uh, Libra doesn't like boundaries or jealousies. They're very open. Most Libras be gay. And I don't mean like gay in a bad way. I mean like they freaky as fuck. Scorpios like sex, but they ain't freaky like that. So they don't understand boundaries and shit like that. So Libra and a Scorpio, no, 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 no. Because Libra too freaky. Libra be bisexual motherfucker. Scorpio been beat her ass. <laughs> trying to do some freaky shit. They ain't with it, y'all. I'm trying to tell you. They not with it. Uh, Leo's lighthearted. Doesn't like possessiveness. Strong will too. That shit is hell now. Oh, no. No. Leos like to flirt too much. No. Just like Libras. Libras are big flirts. My sister is Libra. My sister is a gay too. She's a big fucking flirt. She's single, y'all. <laughs> she gonna see this and be like, what the fuck? Um, Geminis. Geminis crave attention with 
others. Very flighty though and flirty. Scorpios do not mesh well with shit like that. They don't. They will not. They shall not. They will not. Um, I'm going to say this. So like Scorpio in a Taurus compatibility. And I'm going to tell you why because I'm a Taurus and my granddaughter is a Scorpio. This is arguably one of the worst combinations of any two signs to get together. And I could tell because sometimes TT make you want to put in a headlock. This pair seems to bring out the absolute worst in each other. When me and TT, my granddaughter, spend a lot of time together, it's like a tornado coming into each other's lives, just ruining everything with the other person. So I couldn't even imagine being in a relationship with a Scorpio. Very toxic. They are very toxic for each other. So anyway, even though in a Scorpio and a Scorpio relationship, Almost more than any other sign in the Zodiac, Scorpio needs someone to compliment them, not replicate them. So that's the reason why I don't think you'll ever hear a Scorpio say, I married my best friend. Like another Scorpio will put another Scorpio on defensive and they won't be able to feel comfortable around each other or open up and do any of the loving aspects of a relationship. So I would say no. Uh, Sagittarius, each sign is very stubborn. No, 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 and no. So anyway... I hope you guys like my video on dating a Scorpio. Good luck. Tread lightly so that you won't get stung. <laughs> you can go to my website at MagicalLadyDuchess.com or go to my other website at MLDHolisticHealingStore.com. If you have any questions, concerns, or comments, please make sure that you leave a comment below about dating the Scorpio. Leave a comment below about anything, but don't be mean because I will delete this shit. Um, I think that's it. That's all I have to say. I'm going to enjoy my hot lemon and water now. You guys have a good night. Bye.